Corsi here. Now, the previous videos in this series have discussed and explored the two tiles called the Kite and the Dart that were discovered by Roger Penrose back in 1973. He proved that this set of two tiles could tile an infinite plane but could not do so in a periodic fashion. And he tried unsuccessfully to discover a single tile that had this same property, a so-called aperiodic monotile. Now, the search for this aperiodic monotile has continued ever since 1973. Nobody was quite sure if such a tile existed. And over the years, it's been given the title of an Einstein tile. It's a single tile that could tile the infinite plane, but could not tile it in any periodic way, with no patterns, no repetitions. And that's eluded the best minds over all these years, until now. And on 20th of March 2023, this paper was published on the preprint website Archive, and it announced the discovery of an Einstein tile. And it was discovered by four mathematicians. Two were British, David Smith, Joseph Myers, one was Canadian, Craig Kaplan, and the other American, Chaim Goodman Strauss. So in this video, I'll be showing you, using Inkscape, how to construct this newly discovered tile and show you how you can attempt to tile with it. Now, Inkscape's a free open source vector graphics software. If you just Google Inkscape, you'll get to their website where you can download the software. It's available for Mac and Windows. I'll be using the Mac version for this video. So when you download Inkscape, this is the window you get when you open it up. You'll notice on the right there's a, a separate panel here. We can get rid of that by just clicking here. And we've now got a canvas, but it's got a, a nine page in it. Press one, that'll get you to a one to one ratio. So the, you've zoomed in slightly, the page is a bit bigger. But let's get rid of that page. So we need to go to the document properties. Now you'll find document properties up here in this button. So if you press that, and you see border is ticked, let's get rid of that. And there's also the desktop's the wrong colour. So you get this colour wheel and just drag that to white. And that's you got rid of that page outline. We've got a blank canvas now. Now there's another one in the preferences, this, this button, or you can get the preferences in the Inkscape menu. But the preferences, we're wanting a particular behaviour for this video. And it involves steps and it involves the rotation. We want the rotation, when you rotate an object, to go in steps of 30 degrees. So choose 30 and close down the preference window. So now go to the Create Stars and Polygon tool and check that we have the polygon selected, not the star, that the corners have six. We're going to create a hexagon. Hold the control key down, which allows the hexagon to snap every 30 degrees. Make sure the top side is horizontal. There we have it. We choose the select tool again. And let's go to the side panel. And choose the fill and stroke. We can also get that in the object menu. But the fill and stroke, we don't want a fill on this. So if we select fill, there's the colour of the fill. But we'll go up and click the cross. We don't want that. Now the stroke is too thick. So it's still black. But let's choose the stroke style. Let's change units to pixels. Select that size and type 1 return. And you'll see the border is now one pixel thick. Get rid of the side panel. So at this stage, we're going to set snapping preferences. So where objects snap to other objects. So go to the top right 
And there's the snapping menu and enable snapping. Get rid of bounding boxes. We're not interested in that. Just the nodes should be on. Go to the advanced mode. Centres of objects and midpoints of lines we're interested in. So you'll find that down here. Object midpoints and object rotation centres. These both should be ticked. Close the menu. And then we're going to use the Bezier Curves Straight Line tool. Hover over that, click. Hover over the centre, click. Hover over the midpoint, click. Go back to the start, click. Now at this stage, go back to the snapping menu and unclick the centre of rotation and the midpoint of objects boxes. Go to the Select tool. Click on the hexagon to select it and then press the delete or backspace key. Click on the triangle. We we'll need four copies of this triangle. So make sure it's selected and do Control D. That duplicates it. You can drag off that copy. Select both of these. Control D again. Then drag off the new copies. And you now have four copies. We're going to make a basic shape out of these four triangles. And that involves flipping two of the triangles in a vertical axis. Now the flip button is up there. Let's do that. There they are. And snapping is enabled. There's one snap. This left one is going to fit on the diagonal. So select it. Select it again to show the rotation handles. Hold the control key down while you turn it. That snaps nicely there. Again, this one's going on the other side. So select it. Select it again. Hold the control key down and rotate it by 60 degrees and it snaps there. Now this basic unit we want as one, so do a control G to make it one group. And we need four of these basic units. So control D will duplicate it. Let's select both of these. Control D again. And there's our four basic units. Now the tile shape that we're constructing is going to be made out of these four basic units. Now let's take one of them and flip that in a horizontal axis. There's the button. And drag it so that the two vertices snap, like so. This top right shape, that side is going against this edge. So select, select again, control key down and rotate it so that these two sides can snap together. Now it just remains for the fourth unit to fit in this gap. Select, select again, control key down and rotate. Then drag that final unit into place. So we've now assembled 16 of these triangles into a larger shape. And it's the outline of this larger shape that gives us the shape of the newly discovered Einstein tile. So we have to isolate that outline first. And that's what we're going to do now. So to do that, we'll choose the Bezier Curve and Straight Line tool. Click that. Starting at this vertex, click, drag, click, drag, click. And we continue all the way around the outside, clicking at each vertex. And we're gradually drawing the line outline of that shape. And finally, finishing where we started. Now at this stage, let's zoom out. Press the minus key twice. That's a better size. And select tool. Click one of the outside lines and then drag. And that reveals that shape that we just outlined. And that's the shape that we've been trying to construct. So let's get rid of these 16 smaller triangles. Delete. 
and let's have a look at this tile shape. So I now want to fill this with a colour. So we'll go to the side panel to the fill and stroke menu, which should still be up and click the fill button and cl click the first box, having selected the shape, of course. And there you have the colour wheel and we'll choose probably a red colour. Once you're happy with that, Control D will duplicate that. You can drag off another shape. Go back to the colour wheel. Choose a different colour. When you're happy with that colour, Control D again. Duplicate that and choose another colour. Control D again. Have a green colour this time. Control D again. And a final colour. Make it a yellow. Now I think also it would be worth getting rid of the wee black borders now that we've got them differently coloured. So let's select them all. And we'll go to the stroke style. And remember, this was one pixel. So just type in zero for that return. And the border has gone. So let's look at how we can play with these and try to tile with them. That's the fun part of the exercise. So let's get rid of the side panel. And let's choose one of these tiles. Now remember, it's possible always to flip these tiles. If we click this button here, that will flip it in a vertical axis. So let's see if we can fit one of these around it. So let's select that again. Hold the control key while you're rotating it. And there's a fit. Let's choose another tile. Do the same for that. Let's see if we can fit this one. I'm looking at that right angled shape. That seems to fit in. Let's try our luck with another one. See if we can fit that at the bottom. So let's rotate. Again, it's a right angle that I'm looking for to fit in there. Ah, there we have it. That fits nicely at the bottom. And what about this yellow one? Let's try and fit that in there. There's another right angle to concentrate on. Well, that seemed to be going well. Now, we've run out of tiles, but we haven't really. Let's take one of them, this one, and Control D and drag. And there's another tile. Now we can rotate this one and see where this can fit. I'm not seeing any possibilities. Well, yes, there it is. But look what's left in there. I don't see that shape on any of the tiles. So let's try flipping that one and start rotating it. And we will see another fit. Ah, there we go. That's nicely fitted in there. Well, hopefully that's you all set now then to play with the newly discovered Einstein tile. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and hope you've enjoyed this video.